Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, we're going to be doing a lot more content in regards to Indian Scout and other motorcycles. So like and subscribe if you like what you see and yeah, we'll make more content. So today we're going to be doing an oil change on the Black Pearl, aka Indian Scout. When it comes to doing maintenance on your motorcycles, uh, especially the Indian, this is going to be your best friend. This is a reference point. You can go back to it, read it, uh, get to know it. Uh, we have about 500 miles on this bike, the Black Pearl um, Indian Scout. We bought her brand new, um, so this will be the first oil change, first of many. So let me go right here. We are actually going to use the oil change kit directly from Indian. Um, we actually bought it when we purchased the bike, um, but you can get it anywhere. You can get it on Amazon. See link below. So the first step to a successful oil change is getting the engine to an operating uh, temperature. That way the contaminants are suspended and when you change your oil it can all drain out. So what we're going to do is take a quick little ride and um, we'll be back soon. So. dive right into what you're going to need to do the oil change. Um, so right here we have what came in the kit uh, are four quarts of oil, the oil filter, the drain plug washers, and that's what came in the kit. Now we're going to go over what you need, the actual tools you need to do the oil change. So the tools you're going to need are a torque wrench, the oil filter removal tool, a ratchet, a six millimeter Allen, a drain pan, a dirty rag, and of course, some gloves. So right now we're going to identify um, where you're going to be draining the oil from and start the oil change. Uh, but first you're going to want to put on your gloves and also, if you have long hair, make sure you tie it back. Tie your hair back. Um, and be careful because we did just run the bike so it's going to be hot. Um, so it's, it's going to be hot to the touch as well. So be careful. So right here at the very bottom of the bike, there are two drain plugs, one right here, one right here. You're gonna use a six millimeter Allen uh, to remove these. And as you can see right here, uh, here's the oil filter. So these are easy to remove and we're gonna go ahead and break them loose. So now that they're loose, you can actually just um, twist it off, but make sure to pull it out right away and have a, hand, a rag handy for that reason. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and drain the oil. So you're going to bend the horn back. Um, it's not going to hurt anything. It's just to give you better access to the oil filter. Um, and it'll go and we'll push it right back in. Okay, so it's easier to have someone stand the bike up um, than to do it at an angle in order to access the oil filter. Okay, moving it upright and bringing it back down to the, on the kickstand is the best idea in order to get the oil all drained out. So while it's draining, what we're gonna go ahead and do is put these crush washers on the drain plugs um, and get them ready for reinstallation. So we removed the drain pan and replaced it with a rag. So any excess can, excess can just drip on the rag. And then we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the drain plugs uh, by touch first and then we'll put it into place. So now we're gonna torque them down to 15 foot pounds. Let's go ahead and do that, both of them. So it's important to replace these crush washers every single time because they are made out of copper and they crush into the drain plug. And there we go. Okay, so we went ahead and put the drain pan back uh, so we can remove the oil filter. So we're gonna go ahead and confirm that this gasket came off when we removed the oil filter. So I'm gonna put some fresh oil on my finger to lubricate the fresh gasket. So what you're gonna do before you replace the oil filter is make sure that this surface area right here is all clean so there's no debris before you put on the oil filter. Now we're tightening up the oil filter. Okay, so it's gonna be a firm and then a quarter turn. Like so. 
And now we're going to pull the horn back into position that it was before. So what you're going to do is remove the dipstick and it's a turn. And I forgot to mention, we're going to need a funnel, preferably with a longer stem um, so you can get all the oil in there at the, at the right angle. There's a couple of models of this bike. This particular bike is a thousand cc's and it takes usually um, three to four quarts of oil. Um, if you can line up your quarts of oil like so, that way it's an easy transition into the next quart, um, I would do that, it makes it easier. So now we have three and a half quarts. Um, once we do this, then we're gonna go ahead and start it and come back to the dipstick and check it. Now that we have oil in it, we're gonna go ahead and start it up for about 15 seconds, just so we can check it. So now what we're doing is we're going to check the drain plugs and the oil filter to make sure that there's no leaks after we run the bike for about 15 seconds. Um, it's best to have someone helping you. We're going to remove the dipstick, wipe it off, put it back in, but we're going to need somebody to um, center it upright. Twist it back in. all the way. That's what the manual calls for. Now bring it back out. And yep, full. We're good. A couple of takeaways uh, from this oil change that I've learned and um, I'll be able to implement in the next oil change is when adding oil, what you want to do is start at three quarts. Um, turn on the bike, let it run, because there's no oil in the oil filter yet. We actually went three and a half and it spilled over a little bit. Um, something that you don't want to do, but it's okay. Just wiped it off, it's all good. Um, and then when you stop it from running and, and you can pour a little bit more, check the dipstick like we did, um, to make sure it's full, you can add either three and a half to four quarts of oil. Just so you guys know, this little bump right here on the dipstick is full and indicates that it's full. And this little bump right here indicates that you need to add oil. The uh, oil change is a visual inspection. Um, that includes uh, go ahead and, and inspecting the belt. So what you're going to go ahead and do and just um, kind of center it and then move it forward and check every inch of the belt. So as you're walking the bike forward, what you're looking for is, are any uh, tears or any uh, frays on this belt right here. Okay, so we're gonna remove the seat and take a look at the battery and the fuel lines. And looking at the battery. Right here, you wanna make sure that there's no corrosion on the terminals. And you also wanna look at the fuel lines, make sure it's not leaking, make sure there's no damage to those. So the next part of the visual inspection is checking out your brake lines, making sure that there's no damage to any of that, this portion right here, and checking the level. Now we're going to check the clutch cable, which is right here. You can actually do this at the same time as the brake line right here. Um, if you visually just kind of inspect them both at the same time, that'll be fine. You're going to go ahead and turn the throttle, make sure that it's nice and smooth. There's nothing uh, obstructing it. We're going to level the bike and check the rear brake fluid. You never have to add more brake fluid. So when you're looking at this window or this window right here and it shows minimum, um, that indicates that your brake pads are worn and it's time to change them. So yay, your oil chain is now done on your Indian Scout 60. To complete it, what you're going to want to do is go to your owner, owner's manual and go ahead and notate what you've done. I appreciate you watching my channel, going through this journey of the first oil change of the Black Pearl. Um, like and subscribe, of course, for more content. Um, if you have any questions or comments or uh, you just kind of have a general question about motorcycles, um, you can also post that too in the comments and we'll get back to you. But thank you so much for joining me and until next time.